Today I'm in my kitchen. I wanna show you how I do my chapos, and I'm going to serve them with the uh, beans. That's the stew. Now let me show you how I start by making my dove ukanda unga. Let's see. First, I have a uh, salt. Neka chumbi kiasi aile unga yenataka ukanda kulingana na chapos yenataka kuchengeneza, and then I put a little sugar. Kidogo tu ya ku taste, but kuna iskia kwa mbali. Just a very simple process. Now I put my water, which is a lukewarm water. Kiasi ya zile chapo zenye nataka kupika. I have my flour here. This flour here. First you have to see like chumbi na skari zote umekoroga koroga hivi. Zimengiana vizuri. Nafikiria maji yangu ya metosha kulingana na zile chapo nataka kupika like I am I am not going to use the whole 2 kg flour. Let me add some water. Mgeni anaweza tokea. Now I just add uh, my flour. A very simple process. using your clean hand always and when you, you are in the kitchen make sure your hands are clean your everything is clean whatever you are using is clean your workspace is clean to avoid germs it is when you're supposed to come out nicely Now it's that thing like Unaikanda Sasa. And whenever you are doing this, don't mind like Unachafua Kila Mahali because you know the Unga will just splash me. Just cook. After cooking, you just clean up. Imagine I'm feeling so rich, like with this economy, and the hunger is so high. Naiza pika chapati. Now guys as my unga is resting now I have to mix stew. I have my yellow beans here. I just boil the beans by myself in the pressure cooker. You see they are looking so cool. I have my two tomatoes, my red onion, I love my green uh, capsicum and the two cloves of garlic and then I have my coriander here. Now these these the leaves I'm going to put them after after this two is ready, I put them and then I just funica them. Now these ones I'm going to fry. When I'm frying the the tomatoes, I'm going to put them in. Now let me prepare this and then we fry. After my unga has rested, you can see the wheat is right now. So soft. Now we are going to start. But now you see I've sprinkled some flour here. This is where I'm going to place my 
rolls after kuzipaka mafuta so i have some oil here and you see this is where i'll be putting them after kutoko moto here just you just put this unga paper in here that pack of unga in that blazer and then you'll be putting them inside and you cover them so let's start kwanza kupaka mafuta tukizigawa kidogo kidogo for this one you don't have to make it to have that shape you can do it in how we because you're going to apply some oil and cut it into some pieces just like that and we apply some oil a good amount of oil so many sana spread it all over everywhere just like that just like that now that is the process it's not a hard process but ukitaka kitu mzuri you have to work hard on it like this chapels are going to come out very nicely just like that my pan is eating here now i'm uh, I want to start rolling the chapatis here. Make a unga kidogo hapa, hapa hiyo. Naomba tu isiwe inatokea kama map of some country. So I'm going to try my best so that it uh, comes out with a nice shape. So I'm still I still wait for the other one in the the other side now you say pia you say you say pia na you may ever make sure usiache sana kwa moto ikauke see my chapatis i'm done cooking now let's taste here you see i had to make beans and the side the cabbage i just steamed some small cabbage now let's see how the chapos came out you see how they are ziko sawa see 
chapati iko na layers you see uh huh hmm. it's um like this are very soft and my chapati is really sweet no this is my stew just a simple stew beans and some cabbage aside i have a avocado if you you you, you like chapla mkenya tu kawaida thank you for watching and 